One thing I'm going to talk about next is basically how to do degrees, minutes, and seconds. So uh, this is basically what this allows us to do is be very accurate in our measurement of angles. Because, you know, it may not make like a big difference to you, but if I say 15 degrees and 16 degrees, that actually makes a huge difference if you're talking about a mile of distance. So even though it's just one degree, so it, it, it makes us be very uh, accurate in terms of our uh, decimals. So the degrees, minutes, and seconds is just a more precise way to represent a decimal in terms of our degrees. So what we're going to do is we're just going to look at how we can calculate it. Uh, 15 degrees, that's basically going to be our number. And then to calculate our decimal, what we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, well, maybe plus is a bad word. Uh, we're going to add to it our, we're going to take our minutes and divide it by 60. And you'll take your seconds and add to it uh and divide it by uh, 60 squared, or 3600. And that's basically what we're doing to calculate our decimal. One thing you do need to realize, if this is a negative angle, then uh, you want to basically apply that negative after you add this decimal. So we're just touching on this, just a little bit of an overview. Uh, I didn't see it anywhere in your problem. So we'll go ahead and say 15, and then plus uh, 45 divided by 60. And then we'll add to that. 12 divided by 3600. So this is going to be the decimal equivalent for that. So you can see what the decimal is. It's just a more accurate and easier way to represent that decimal. And uh, I have a guy, uh, a friend of mine I went to high school with. He's a, a WIZO, a weapon system operator in a F-16. And uh, he deals with minutes and seconds uh, in terms of degrees all the time. So we're going to talk about another way. We can actually type this in your calculator. So there's a little angle menu. So if you go second applications, here's how you get the degree symbol. And then we're going to say 45. We'll go back to that same menu and go this to get our minutes. And then 12. 12 is kind of hard. What you're going to do, I think it's going to be alpha plus. So that will come over there seconds. When you type that in, you can see that's what we get. And then you can also use that same menu and convert back to degrees, minutes, and seconds. So, just a little way, uh, you know, if you see this on the ACT or something like that, so that you can know how to convert from one to the other.